Hi, my name is Alex Dimitriou. I'm the founder of Menlo Park Psychiatry and Sleep Medicine. I'm boarded in psychiatry as well as sleep medicine. And today we're going to be talking about oversleeping. Most people find that they need about seven to eight hours of sleep a night to feel good during the day. Oversleeping should actually be broken down into three separate categories. There's people that just want to sleep in too late in the morning. There's people that are also catching up on sleep and end up sleeping longer than they normally would during a specific night. And lastly, there's people that just consistently notice that they need more sleep than average people do. Some people that end up waking up too late in the morning are doing so because they go to bed too late at night. Going to bed too late at night, for some people, is caused by being a night owl. There's just those of us that want to go to bed later and sleep in later in the morning. People that go to bed too late at night will often do so as a result of using computers or technology in the bedroom. Anything interactive is generally bad because it keeps the brain active and awake during the night and can make it hard to fall asleep. Certain substances, like caffeine too late in the day, can also make it hard to fall asleep at night. For people that have trouble with oversleeping or need to sleep too much, it's important to note that sleep quality is as important as sleep quantity. And oftentimes people that have poor quality sleep will end up sleeping longer periods of time to make up for it. Here are a couple of lifestyle changes that can help people who oversleep often. The first of which really starts with a sleep schedule. It's so important to have a regular morning wake time as well as bedtime at night to maintain the quality and depth of sleep. Substances can also play a significant role in the quality of sleep and reducing things like caffeine or alcohol before bedtime also will be very helpful in improving sleep quality. Managing stress also plays a very important role. If people find that their jobs are stressful or that they're thinking about too many things before they go to bed at night, they may want to speak with either a mental health expert or a therapist to see if there's anything that can be done to reduce overall stress. Pain also plays a significant role and can keep people up at night. If people are having pain for any reason, it may be worth speaking to their doctor as well. Lastly, sleep apnea can also result in poor sleep quality by waking you up numerous times during the night. If that occurs, it is important to speak with a professional such as your doctor or a sleep medicine specialist to determine if you have sleep apnea.